Big news that happened, I think, what, yesterday, I think this went up. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive Season Pass uh, trailer character number four, Biken, has dropped the actual gameplay. Like, we were sure it got announced, but it's going to show off for Moose a little bit, what she can do. I'm excited to check her out. I've never been a Biken player really before, and I only got into Guilty Gear, like, when XR came out. I didn't really get into the previous Guilty Gear games, so I'm still really new. Um, I know her moveset's very weird. Like, she's, like, from what I've heard on Twitter, read, and what other people say, she's a character that a lot of people like that, in, have it in the game, but not, like, super into playing ass, I guess, because she's, she's got a weird play style or some shit. So, I don't know. Hopefully they switch it up. Maybe they revamped it a little bit, uh, compared to her previous iterations, and maybe she'll be really good. Uh, I know she's MA as fuck looking, and She's got two exciting things going for at least, you know, you'll see why <laughs> I'm guessing the trailer here. So let's check it out. All right. Here we go. Very Japanese, I love it. Okay. Oh my god, why? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> why? Wait a minute. Why? Why does she have two big heads right here? Why? Come on. Come on. It's very distracting. I'm just saying, like, like, it's very distracting, Arc System Works. Come on. You know better. Come on. I mean, that's just, just come on right there. Like, really? <laughs> Y'all love it. I bet you do. I bet you do, chat. All right, let's continue. Yo, that angle? <laughs> All right, let's hear Moose in here. Oh, shit, okay. So she got like some pull in with the uh, hook. Say the word and I'll wake you the hell up. Gotta hand it to you. Hmm. In the end, she believed in us. Looks good. Looks like she's a great shit. She definitely looks like she plays differently. Wow. Oh my god, bro. Oh. Damn. And the co combo under there? Oh, her super. Oh, then the. Oh, then so. Wait. Where's the deep dive? Hold on. Where's the fucking deep dive? We need to look at the damn deep dive. That's distracting. Yeah, hold on. We need to look at the other. We need to look at the other thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is what I was trying to this is what I was trying to go for. Hold on. Here we go. Viken boasts an arsenal of useful special moves. Control the field from mid-range with her specials and uh -huh. overwhelm the opponent with her powerful mix-up at close range. Sweet! Tatami Gaishi. Viken slams her foot to the ground, flipping over a tatami mat. The grounded version has a hitbox during the stomp and launches mm -hmm. the opponent on hit. In the air version, the tatami mat appears as a projectile. As the tatami okay, mat so... will not disappear until it touches the ground, it is a good option on the opponent's wake up or to prevent their approach. Oh yeah, I was Kabani. just thinking of like yeah, use against wake up this or approach and then the opponent in launch him. Viking. Its excellent range makes it a good hmm. poke from mid range. Okay. The slash version attaches the opponent to Biken on block or hit. Interesting. Once attached, the characters will be drawn together. The force drawing them together grows more powerful the farther they are apart. 
Really? The attachment will be released after a certain period. God of damn! Time. A successful the mix up there, you can do with it. Also attaches the opponent to bike in. Pressing heavy slash again after the claw extends during the heavy slash version performs a follow up attack. Okay. Holding down heavy slash allows you to delay the timing of the attack. Biken can pass through the opponent during this move. I'm noticing that. Yeah, she's anti zoner. Yeah, I love it. I no love zonsen. it. Biken slashes the area around her with this overhead attack. Its fast startup makes it easy to use in mid air combos. It can also really? mix up a crouch blocking opponent when used immediately after. Oh jumping. my god, she can fucking. Oh shit. Wait, 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 what? What, what, what? It can also mix up a crouch blocking opponent when used immediately after. Oh jumping. my god, yes. Heat like in the air, too. In the air, like for mid combos right there. That's so important. Oh a my god, Bullfish. Well, reacts to an attack from the You're opponent. disgusting. Anyway. Biken can counter an attack once this move is out. She performs a highly damaging attack after countering an attack at close range. I love that. She can I repel love the counter. The opponent's attack after countering from a distance. Use this move with caution, as it cannot counter throws or projectiles, and leaves Biken Okay, so it's not safe. On Very high risk. Tsurane Sanzu Watashi. Baiken moves forward while unleashing three powerful slashes. Its fast startup and invincibility as it comes out makes it a good choice for combos, as well as a really? way to interrupt the opponent's strings. That looks awesome! Kenju. Baiken launches a massive firework shell as a powerful projectile. <laughs> now see, that the looks like it's a good combo ender. Either or interrupter. Hit, or after traveling a certain distance. Oh shit. This attack works well as a poke from far range or yeah. as a finisher in a combo. Yep, yep, that's what the I was thinking. Version changes combo the finisher. Projectile's trajectory to a downward diagonal direction. Oh my god, no fucking way. An opportunity to what on an air, air combo or in projectile's trajectory to a downward diagonal direction. That's sick. Oh, that's sick. Let's go. Get in while using far standing slash and standing heavy slash as pokes. Both versions of Kabaddi work well as pokes from outside the range of her standing normals. Once you're in, you can use her sweep, a two hit low attack, and Yo Zansen, an overhead mm. for powerful mix up. Mm. Shut down the opponent's offensive attempts using Hiragi. Attaching love yourself it. to the opponent using her ground throw or the slash version of Kabaddi makes it easier to maintain close range as well as granting wow. access to powerful strings and combos. Thank you for watching. All right, all right. I'm, I'm digging her. I'm digging it. Like, she definitely looks different in her play style from previous games. Because when I did play XR and XR2, like, she, and I ran across a few players, like, she, play, she didn't play like this. Not entirely. Um, I think she had something like an Alpha 3 type of move set up a little bit. And that seems to be not be here. Or whatever so i'm very intrigued I'm, i like that chris anti chris to point out in chat that she's anti-zoner focused or anti-zoner i love that shit i love anti-zoner characters in fighting games um and she's very like mid-range and mix-up heavy too pulls you in will fuck your shit up got some nice pokes i dig it oh my god can't wait to play her comes out this friday too friday Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. And not for the reasons you think of, chat, okay? It's not because we're melons, okay? I don't fully agree with the art direction style there, you know, with distracting melons, but you know what? Here's what it is. I care about her being a fun character to play as, and she seems like she's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to be trying her out for sure. It's going to be lots of fun. All right.